I'm doing this because I think I need to say something about it. But my objective is not to be, my objective is to be fair. You know, I, I, I see myself as a reasonable, fair person. I can critique someone, I can criticize somebody, but I want to be fair to the person so that I can have integrity and give them integ integrity. At first, I liked Val. I thought she had morals. I thought she had principles. I thought she had and still believe that she does have genuine empathy for the Rusex. But after the countdown that really never came to fruition, the, you know, the TikTok countdown for AD that never came to fruition. And, you know, right up until now where we've got this battery guy and Truth Justice finally packing her bags. I feel that Val at some point has lost direction. And I think I can understand her having empathy for the Rusex, but the fact is she's never met them, as far, at least not as far as I know. And I just think that she is better than just being devoted to you know a family that she's never met. And I can understand um, being tenacious when it comes to a cause and I can understand empathy. And I think a lot of us have felt empathy for the Ruzex at some point, whether we still do or not. You know, I felt tremendous empathy for them, particularly in the beginning. I just wanted to hug Sandra. I wanted to hug um, Shanann's dad and I felt tremendous empathy. I'm a little, I'm a lot more distant from the empathy now, but I understand the feeling of empathy and having morals and wanting uh, you know to join a group um and being part of a moral crusade but i think at this point it's it's gone beyond that now and it just looks like somebody she just looks she just appears to me like like someone who's literally battery exhausted just like the first just like scott who i don't really watch but i've heard about him um, she looks exhausted and I think that bearing in mind that she's never met the Ruzex and this is pretty much an online thing, uh, bearing, my, bearing in mind her age and all of these things, I think that she should do what Truth Justice does and finally call it a day because I don't think it's doing her any good. I totally understand the feelings that um, Val has about AD. I don't know if you heard my mum behind me, she's sleeping and I'm trying to uh, record. Um, I can totally understand um, the feelings that Val has about AD and his content. And I've been there. I've been there myself. Um, but at the end of the day, Val is not Frankie's lawyer or attorney. And I think it's time, at some time, you just got to say you know it's not my problem anymore it's not my issue anymore that's somebody else's uh job or task to uh, concern yourself with and it, you know because at at this point val and ad are just going back and forth back and forth back and forth and I, and I can imagine that that would be not just challenging but exhausting and i think val should uh devote her time to more positive things and i'm being far more um fair to Val than she has been to me in recent times and that's exactly the type of person that I want to be I'm not perfect myself however I think that you know truth justice realized that she wasn't um spending her time wisely anymore that she um probably had been um giving AD way too much of her time way too much attention and way too much of her energy and after a while it just becomes exhausting and i think it's time for val to close the book on ad and find something else to do with her time that is more beneficial more positive and um more dignifying now i'll never know why truth justice left because i've never had a conversation with her um, I don't know her, um, you know, I've had very, very little contact with her, but I can imagine that, you know, with all the time and dedication to AD, 
um, to see somebody else getting the limelight and getting the attention. And I'm not saying this is definitely a reason why she decided to, you know, say goodbye. That's not what I'm saying, but it, I think it's very possible. Um, and I think that she didn't see the integrity in it anymore. So, um, you know, I think that's what's happened. You know, Scott Super Chopper Battery Exhausted, whatever the person's name is, has taken the mantle for now and um, is getting the attention and the credit for doing the AD stuff. So, um, and it just goes round in a circle, just goes round in a circle and it's recycled and rinsed and repeated every year. And to this day, Frankie and AD have not met in court. It's not happened. So I think Val, I wish you well. I wish you well for the future. And I think that you should take my advice. Uh, because I study human behavior and I can read people very easily, um, Scott has come along and he's basically put all the hard work that the original truthers have done um, in kind of some kind of uh, state where their work, their original work, no longer has any value. And I think that's one of the reasons why truth justice is no longer here in the same capacity anyway. Don't know if she'll ever come back in another capacity. But Scott's playing up to the attention that he's getting. He's playing up to, you know, he's performing. It's theatre for him. Um, talking about AD is get, getting him attention. It's getting him views. It's getting him subs. And he'll, he'll keep doing that. You know, he'll keep doing it. He'll keep performing as long as Scott benefits from talking about AD, he'll keep doing it. And unfortunately, that was not the original plan of, of the truthers. It was to, you know, let everyone know what AD was doing, what he was up to, and to eventually um, have him down. But that never happened. AD is still here and AD is still thriving. Whether we like it or not, he's here and still thriving. So, um, you know, Scott's come along and filled that void and done something new. He's the new kid on the block that's getting all the attention. That's just the way it is.